DIYers and welcome to the first episode in a series I am titling Become a Backend Developer. So today we're going to talk about what exactly does a backend developer do. Well, a backend developer does everything you see that you don't see. So there's a lot of sites that are just static. It's just HTML. There's not a whole lot of dynamic stuff going on. It's just a flat website, which we kind of showed on the Become a Frontend Developer series starter. Backend development is nothing like that. Backend development is everything that's dynamic about the web. Whether you're submitting a contact form, signing up for a newsletter, submitting a Twitter post or a Facebook post, pinning something on Pinterest, everything that you see is front end. But all that data is coming from the back end. The back end is kind of the heavy lifter of the front end. And there's a lot of technologies that have kind of skewed the front end, back end divide, and things like Node that is technically back end. And we'll cover a lot of it in this series, but realistically, it's it's built with front end code JavaScript. So it's you know it's kind of muddy in the waters a little bit, which is okay and can be used by either, and that's that's great. We're going to focus on it as a back end technology, so we'll cover a lot of that stuff in the back end series. We may kind of cross um, series here a little bit and talk about some front end stuff, talking about some back end stuff, and we'll build some back end stuff that the front end can use. So I think that's you know that's the the beauty of the back end is that. It works really well with the front end, and that goes to developers as well. I mean, the back end developers and the front end developers have to constantly communicate. If they want to develop a great product, a be- like a truly beautiful user facing feat of engineering, it needs to be done with communication first. And that's something that is still lacking a little bit in our industry. And I hope that we're getting to a point where people are willing to work together to make beautiful websites it's not a front end it's not a back end the front end couldn't be what it is without the back end and the back end sure as shit couldn't be what the front end is without the front end and that's basically what a back end developer does is they deal with creating the dynamic portion of a website and they do that with languages like php and dot net and ruby and python and all these great back end technologies And they use technologies like MySQL for data storage and SQL and Access and Mongo and all kinds of, you know, technologies for data storage. And then within all of those things, there's libraries, there's frameworks, there's all kinds of different utilities available. So we're going to start with PHP. That's, the, in my opinion, one of the more accessible free languages out there. That's it. That's basically... Everything a back-end developer does, they create the dynamic portions of the website with the technologies we've talked about. The next episode, we're going to jump into a quick just hello world to show you how different the back-end is from the front-end. As always, thank you DIYers for watching. Take care.